Good morning. It's a big day. It is Friday, May 8th, and guess what? We are finishing letter book X and Y. We only have one more letter book to go. So we'll have one letter book next week, and we'll be finished with letter books. And then we'll spend a week doing a little bit of review and work a little bit on consonant blends. So today you're going to be starting on page 14. This will look very familiar to you. Do you remember what this is? It's a jack-in-the-box. You remember when we did it? We did letter J. So what you're going to have to do is complete the box that the jack-in-the-box sits in. So what you'll do is you will draw a line up here and connect the green dots first. Then you'll come down here and connect the blue dots with the blue crayon. Then you're going to connect the pink dots to finish your jack-in-the-box. You can color your jack-in-the-box and then you're going to take your pencil and you're going to write jack, jack in the box. So you'll trace Jack in the Box, finish your box, and color your Jack in the Box. Then you're going to turn over, and this is our letter book story. Hmm, what do you think our letter book story is about? I see some mice. Do you see some mice? Yes, our story is about some mice, and our mice might have to make a move. You're going to hear the word bureau in this story, and that is a vocabulary word you're probably not familiar with. So you might have a dresser. In your room or in your home and so when it says bureau that's what it's talking about is is dresser so we're going to be starting up here in our first square and I'm gonna read and you can move along as we read so we're starting right here one morning father mouse woke up early we must get up he said to mother mouse it's moving day the roof of this house in the meadow leaks when it rains last night I got drops on my nose so did I mother said and there is a puddle on the bureau. But, oh dear, where shall we move to? I have a surprise for you, Father Mouse told her. I have found a new home. We will load our things into that old shoe we found in the mud and go. They went to the children's rooms. Wake up, Timmy, they said. Wake up, Tessie. It's moving day. We're going to have a fine new dry home. All right, we're over here on picture two. The Mouse family had a quick breakfast. Then they loaded their things into the shoe and said goodbye to their old house. They went along a tiny road under the meadow and the clover. At last they came to an old farmhouse. And here, said Father Mouse, is the surprise. A tall, small house on a short, strong pole. The house is old and dented, but it's made of tin. It will not leak when it rains. The wobbly door will not shut tight. But that means we can get in and out easily. Oh, how lucky, said Mother Mouse, clapping her tiny paws. I don't care if it is old and dented. But how shall we get our things into our new house? asked Timmy. Oh, that'll be easy, Father Mouse said. We will tie these shoestrings together and lift the things up. I will climb to the top of the wobbly door and do the pulling. So they began working. They got their beds up and their tables and chairs and their pots and pans and the cupboard full of food. All right, moving down here to page, I mean, box three. Soon they were in their tall, small house with all their things. We will put them way in the back, Mother Mouse said. Then the rain will not get them wet when it comes in the door. After a while, they were cozy fits. They had their supper of grains of corn that night, and the moon shone over the top of the door on their mouse faces. The wind rattled the door. But they didn't wake up. All right, moving to page on um, the box four, right here. But the next morning, Mother Mouse said, sat up in bed. Listen, she said, I hear a noise. A car! And it was a car stopping before the tall, small house. A hand jerked down the wobbly door, opening it wide. In came a lot of paper things. Envelopes with writing on them. A newspaper rolled up tight. They were just thrown in. Mercy me, said Mother Mouse. Who did that? Where are you all anyway? I'm here under this big square thing, Father Mouse said. He crawled out from under an envelope. We're here under this rolled up newspaper, squealed Tessie and Jimmy. But what shall we do with all this stuff, cried Mother Mouse. We could chew it up to keep us warm in winter, Father Mouse said. But then, just then another hand reached in and took all of the materials all the envelopes and all the letters, the newspaper, everything was gone. 
there was hardly any room for us in all with all that stuff. I do hope it won't happen again, said Tessie. Well, the next morning, it did happen again. More envelopes and a newspaper were thrown in, and a little box with a red string were right down here now. This time, the mouse family happened to be out. They had to climb over all the stuff and scuttle back in. Then a hand reached in and took all the things away. At first, everything seemed all right again. Then Timmy squealed, where's Tessie? Oh, mercy me, said Mother Mouse. She must have gotten carried away with the paper stuff. She's in that farmhouse. Then we must go over there at once, Father Mouse said. She's in danger. They scuffled across the road and climbed up on a window sill. They looked in the open window. The farmer's family was reading their mail, but Tessie was nowhere to be seen. Suddenly, Mother Mouse said, look, the wastebasket. There she was, peeking over the top. She saw her family. Her eyes were like big black raindrops. It was awful, she whispered. My tail got caught in the red string around the box. I pulled it loose, but they threw me away with the paper. All this will not do at all, Father Mouse said. We can't keep being bothered every day. We must move again. We'll go back to our old home. Yes, I know the roof leaks, but that's better than having stuff thrown in at us all the time. Or losing our child in a wastebasket, Mother Mouse said. So they all went to work again. They lowered their things to the ground and packed them in the shoe. Their beds, their tables and chairs, their pots and pans and clothes. The tin door wobbled and shook. Now for the food cupboard, Father Mouse told them. That's the last thing and the heaviest. But oh, what happened? The door of the tall, small house <clears throat> came off. It dropped to the ground with a bump and a rattle. The cupboard fell too, and all the food came out of it. They had to scamper around and pick it up. What bad luck, grumbled Timmy. No, it's good luck, Father Mouse told him, for we can take the old tin door home with us. It'll make a fine roof, one that will not leak. So they started back to their old home, pulling the shoe. When they got to their house, it looked so safe and cozy. They were tired. They had had too many moving days. All right, we're moving to the very last picture, this one right here. The next morning, they fixed the tin door top, tight on the top of their house. They were very happy. They had got a new roof, and the people in the farmhouse got a new mailbox that very day. They couldn't imagine what had happened to the door of their old mailbox. Hmm. So, I lived in a house, and the house le was leaking when it rained. So they moved to a new house. When they didn't know about their new house, it was a mailbox. So the mailman would deliver mail, right? And so when the mailman delivered the mail, they were crowded in there with all those paper items. They had newspapers and envelopes. And the people that lived in the farmhouse came to get their mail. And guess what? They accidentally picked up one of the the children. And so the, the uh, father and mother mouse had to go retrieve their child and they decided to move back to their original house. But remember the roof leak. So what did they do? Well, when they were moving out of the mailbox house, the lid to the mailbox house fell off and they used that for a new roof so they were protected. All right, you're going to flip over to page 16. And I have some listening questions for you on page 16. Will they see page 16? So we're going to start up here on this first row. Okay, got that? Find the row with the ball in it. Here's your first question. What did the mice use as a moving van? Do you remember what they used as a moving van? Circle what they used as a moving van. Did they use an old shoe, a truck, or a wagon? Circle the correct answer. All right, we're moving down to the next row. Where did the mice make their new home? Where was their new home? Was it in a tree? Was it in the wall? Or was it in a mailbox? Where was their new home? Circle the, the, the one that shows their new home. All right, we're down now to the umbrella. What color was the string on the package? Did you listen to that? Was it red, black, or pink? What color was the string on the package? Circle the correct answer. Okay, we're moving down to the next row, and we'll flip the page so I can get to our question. All right, right here. Where did Tessie Mouse end up when she got taken out with the mail? 
You know where she ended up? She had a black trash can and mom like, where was she? When the family peeked in and saw the farmers, where had they put her? All right, here's the last question. What was their new roof made out of? So you gotta read some words down here. Was their new roof made out of grass? grass? In tin or brick? Brick. Was it grass, tin, or brick? Circle the correct word. Give yourself a checklist. And guess what? You just finished letter book X and Y. One more letter book. I'll see you next week for our last letter book.